we need to get our beer out of our carboy and something I actually like to use is a auto siphon and we're just going to use the bottom half of this thing. So it's just going to submerge and how this thing is has a bit of a bevel here in the bottom that kind of traps the beer in here lets it release kind of slowly. Uh, that'll make it easier to pull a big sample out. It works a lot better than our uh, other methods did with the standard beer thief. So we're going to spray some star sand through the inside of the tube and on the outside and this stuff sanitizes within about 15 seconds so this, the suds here, the bubbles are fine, it's not a problem at all. All right, and we're just going to put it into this little pitcher here. So go ahead and submerge our siphon, half of our siphon, I'd say, and then we pull it out. And there's our sample, and there we go. So it's going to drain out of here slowly, but uh, that's a good sample. That's certainly enough for the hydrometer. And uh, look at that, we've got a nice little beer head on there already. Looks great. So we're going to take this into the kitchen now. We're going to go ahead and take some measurements. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, guys. So now we've got our two beers here. Here's our Weizenbach. Here's our chocolate stout. And here's our hydrometer. And this is the tube that we use to fill. So we'll start off with our, uh, our Weizenbach. So we're just going to fill this up. And what you want to do is you want to try to pour it kind of slow. You don't want a bunch of foam and head in there. We've also let it settle out a little bit. We'll fill our tubes about there. And you will start to notice like a little bit of hops and uh, things will fall to the bottom. So we put our hydrometer in. And we let it sink. And give it a good spin to kind of keeps it in the center. Kind of zoom in here. And what I'm going to do is uh, switch it to close up, and we're going to come in and get a real good look at this. Okay, so we're going to see where we're at right now. So it's spinning around. So it looks like right now we're down at about 10.18. So that's our current gravity. So we're going to let this beer sit a little bit longer and um, then we'll check the gravity again here another day or two. And um, we want that to finish a little bit lower, uh, but 1018 is not bad. A Weizenbach is a thicker, hardier, heavier beer. So 1018 actually is a, is a fine final gravity. We just want to make sure that it's done fermenting and that's where our beer is settled at. So we're going to measure it again and we'll say in about 24 hours. And if it's still measuring the same 1018, we're going to go ahead and uh, bottle it. We just want to make sure it's done. So now we'll pour this out. Of course, first we've got to taste it. And then we're going to measure the chocolate stout. Okay, guys. So now it's time to measure the chocolate stout. Same thing. We rinsed out our tube here for our hydrometer. And i got to tell you, this, this beer smells so good. Really pick up the chocolate. That Belgian chocolate we put in there just smells so good. So again, we'll put the hydrometer in here and we'll give it a little spin. All right, we're gonna do the same thing and zoom in here and get a good reading. So bear with me a sec. Okay, so here come the numbers. We're just about right at the same thing, about 10, 20 on this guy. Uh, now there's probably more unf unfermentables in this stout. You know, we have some cocoa in there that's not fermentable uh, and some other specialty grains that give it a lot of body. So we do expect this beer to finish pretty thick. Uh, but again, we're gonna give it a good 24 hours and measure it again and see if the gravity stays the same. Uh, my guess though is this guy still needs to ferment a little bit more just to uh, tidy it up a little bit. So we'll let the, the fermentation temperature warm up a little bit in the fridge 
just so the yeast can finish up a little bit, we'll give uh, both fermenters a, a, a little bit of a swirl, a little shake, just to wake up any more yeast that's still active in there and, and finish up the fermentation. So we'll come back in 24 hours and check it out.